Good morning, DC. I'm Julian. And I'm Miles. And stay tuned for DC's news. It's Friday, April 15th, 2016, and today is both National Titanic Remembrance Day and it's National Tax Day. I guess that means the only things that are certain in life are death and taxes. <laughs> congratulations to the concert choir and chamber choir students for receiving a distinguished status. Also, congratulations to the DCHS NJROTC unit also being named the Distinguished Unit with Academic Honors. This is the highest level award a unit can achieve in a school year. They've also been placed in nomination for Most Improved in the Nation. Good job, everyone. Attention seniors, the Kentucky Wesleyan Scholars Academy is taking place June 5th through 10th. This program is an immersive academy for students wanting a high caliber liberal arts college education. Students can develop their strengths in leadership or creative writing in abstract and concrete terms. Students who qualify and complete the academy are guaranteed at least 6,500 in KWC annual scholarship money. If you are interested, you need at least a 3.0 GPA and or a 23 on the ACT. The application is due May 13th. Check with Smith Campbell for more details. Attention ladies going to prom. If you need help with your hair and makeup, please see Ms. Kimball in the Youth Service Center to make an appointment the day of prom. Attention first semester Spanish 2, 3, and 4 students. If you would like to take the stamp foreign language placement test this semester, please come see Brittany Johnson in room 200A. Attention students, anyone interested in helping with the Special Olympics that could be held on April 30th at Owensboro Middle School can contact Ms. Gilbert in room 168 to volunteer. Attention Fine Arts Society members, please check with your advocates for new field trips and teacher permission forms. The forms are due by next Friday. This week is National Library Week here at DC, so stop by at the library and they will give you they will cancel your fine for any overdue books. Attention seniors, today is the last day to drop off order forms with your money to Miss Hall in room 130 for cap and gown pictures if you've missed the deadlines. Also, Senior Awards Night is Tuesday, May 10th. There will be hors d'oeuvres at 5.30 and the ceremony is at 6 in the DCHS Auditorium. AP U.S. Government Sessions will be every Monday and Thursday beginning today at 3.30 in Ms. Stillwell's room. And AP Language Breakfast Brush-Up Sessions will also be held on Thursdays in room 137 at 7.30 for breakfast and review. Now stay tuned for a word about OCTC's Advanced Transportation Fuel Summer Academy. Owensboro Community and Technical College Advanced Transportation Fuels Summer Academy, Southeast Campus behind Davis County High School, June 13th through 16th. High school freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors, guys and girls, you're all welcome. Your cost is free, zero. It includes materials, lunch, snacks, and a trip to tour Toyota in Princeton, Indiana. Submit a registration form by May 27th. Attention Spanish students. Want to practice or improve your Spanish speaking skills? Go to Ms. Venegas' room 200B on Fridays at 7.50 for the Spanish conversation table. Beginners through advanced are all welcomed. Attention Y Club members. If you're interested in being an officer for the Y Club next year, please see Mr. Easley to pick up an application. All officer applications must be submitted by Tuesday. Attention seniors, the date for graduation has been set as Friday, May 27th at 6 p.m. in the Sports Center. If you haven't picked up graduation materials, see Ms. Anderson. You'll still need to pay Johnston's before you can pick up your cap and gown. Payment should be in the form of cash, money, order, credit, debit card, and no prep personal checks will be accepted. To all who are interested, DC's first aid and CPR training will be in the Media Center again tomorrow from 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Sign up is only $5 in guidance and first come, first serve to 16 people. And prom goers, all the necessary forms are due next Wednesday. You can pick them up in the front office. If you're still picking out a dress, you should know what is and isn't acceptable by now. It's $20 for a single ticket and you get these in the lobby during lunch. Here's what's going on this weekend for DC. 
The D.C. baseball team is traveling to take on Apollo with the JV game starting at 4.30. The AP Spanish mock exam is from 7.45 a.m. to 12 p.m. tomorrow in room 200A. Freshman baseball is traveling to take on Hancock County at 9 a.m. The girls track and field challenge will be at Harrison County High School in Evansville. That's all we have for you this week, D.C. Cowabunga, dudes! This past Saturday, Kaylee Rainberger went 3 for 4 with a run scored and a run batted in as the Lady Panthers won at the Southern Slam in Boonville, Indiana. Lexi Mullen threw a one-hitter after striking out four batters. The Lady Panthers won the game 5 to 0. On Tuesday night, the Lady Panthers took on Orangeboro. Lexi Mullen led the pa Lady Panthers to a 14-0 win, going 3 for 3 at the plate and launched a two-run homer off the center field fence in the second inning. Macy Simmons retired all six batters she faced and was the winning pitcher. Lady Panthers are now 11-5 and 3-0 in district. On Thursday night, Lexi Mullen, Taylor Brown, Ramberger, and Bolds each had two hits for the Lady Panthers as they faced South Spencer. Lauren Johnson had a two-run homer in the eighth inning to put the Lady Panthers up 5-3 and eventually leading the Panthers to the 5-3 victory over South Spencer. On Tuesday night, the Davis County Panthers baseball team teed off with 11 hits and they won the game against Warren Central 7-5. Noah Johnson struck out nine batters and only with one hit and was allowed. Jonathan Powell went three from four from the plate with four RBIs. Stuart Curry went three for three and Jack Snyder had two RBIs. On Thursday night, Jake Hansen and Garrett Whitaker held the Eagles to only two hits the whole game. The one run game turned into a three run game when an error was made in the outfield and scored three runs to make it four to one. Then Max Rafferty sealed the deal with an RBI. Davis County won the game five to one. In tennis action on Tuesday, the Panthers tennis team took on Muhlenberg County, falling 6-3. Davis County had single winner from Chris Salam and Fa uh, Fale Milani. The D.C. double winners were Salam and Dylan McBuffie. Also on Tuesday night, the Lady Panthers tennis team fell to Muhlenberg County 6-3. Leading the way for the Lady Panthers were single winners Bailey and Jacqueline Hume. The Hume sisters were also the D.C. doubles winners. That's all your sports news. Deuces.